Hooray! Where's the cats? Drank them all, mate. Combini. Daily journeys. All right, mate, what's your score prediction today? All right, okay. Um, this one's a bit of a hard one to call because both teams, I feel like, are pretty evenly matched. You've got FC Tokyo, who, you know, first game of the season, they did pretty well. They held off Kawasaki, the, 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 the former champions of last year. So they held them off for a long time, eventually lost the match. They recently just won, I can't remember against who, but they won 1-0. They got a red card, but still managed to scrape out a win. So they've got some fight in them. So you know what? At Hiroshima, they're not a pushover though either. So, you know, I would say a draw or a win. I'm gonna go for a win today for FC Tokyo. I think they're gonna do it. But they don't have many goals in them. So I'm gonna go a one nil win FC Tokyo. I reckon it could be a little bit, a little bit of a tight game. Mm. Hiroshima historically have been a better team, but at the same time, um, you know, Tokyo have only played two games this season because of Corona postponement. postponement and they've got one of the better squads they've had over the past couple of years. Uh, similar to you, I think it's gonna be tight. Um, I'm probably gonna go 2-1 two one, two one Tokyo. So just got to the stadium, mm. what, what do you reckon? Um, I like it, I feel like this is a big stadium. It's what, 50K capacity? It's got that big event feel to it, you know? It's, uh, you know, hundred percent. Something sometimes you, nothing can compare to that small, intimate feel that you get at some stadiums where you know close to the pitch. J two, J three. Do you know what I mean? You walk in from the ticket gate, you go straight to your seat, kind of thing. It's different. It's not necessarily comparable in a way, you know, not directly. You ever seen a KFC at a stadium before? Never. FC Tokyo KFC. I rate that. I rate that. Like. So I don't really want a KFC right now, but it's making me want one. To be honest, I've, I've come here a few times before and I, I like the stadium as a design. You know, as you've said before, 50,000 seater. It looks really nice inside, but I've never seen it fully full, right? It's had a few different uses in the past. Actually, the ground that we're on right now used to be an American military base, like a training area. And if you look at it, it's got a little bit of a unique design because the stadium is actually sunken. It's below ground level. Yeah. yeah, we're on a platform right now, aren't we? And the reason for that is because we're quite close to Hanada Airport. So we've got to be below the flight path of planes that are landing and taking off here. I don't know if any of you guys have seen, but this was where the Rugby World Cup 2019 opening ceremony was held. Uh, a lot of rugby games held here as well. But I've never seen it fall for football. So I think we're probably going to try and grab some food, then we'll go in and check it out. But Hopefully, it feels up today and it's got a good vibe. They've got some atmosphere going on if you just look over here. We've got some bit, uh, beer and... Uh, got a bar there. Some you've got some entertainment going, you've got someone on the microphone. I haven't had a proper close look on what food is being offered, but it is a bit sparse. It's a bit disappointing, but the, the fan turnout is great. And um, the fact that there's a bar here, come on, we all need a beer in life. Look at the queue on it though. So Chris, we're here waiting for our karage. Yeah, for Any half an hour. It says on there they won the gold medal in the karage Grand Prix three times. Which sounds good, but like, what is the karage Grand Prix? Man? <laughs> it looks, looks amazing. It's very different to karage we've got anywhere yeah, else. It's just one big chunk that they've cut up into smaller pieces, which, you know, that's that's Japanese fried chicken, that's karage. Here we go. Have a little nosh of that, bro. Best yet? For me, yes. It's not as good as Sean and Ben Murray. Interesting. It's a bit greasy. Like this outside bit, very well seasoned, very salty, very well cooked. But the chicken, you can see it here, like, look how greasy that is, man. Like, it's okay, but it's a bit slimy. <laughs> What an atmosphere. Love it. You know what, like, this is, you know, it's one of your big commercial kind of type stadiums. Um, everyone has seating, mm. but if you just look They're over still there, standing. everyone is standing. Bad boys, bad boys. He's dead. <laughs> that was absolutely brutal. 
Like literal kicking the balls I've ever seen. He's not gonna have kids anymore. Half time! Where are we going? What's the plan? KFC? Let's go check out the food stores. KFC is one of them. Let's go see what else they have. See what they got, see what they got. It was a little bit disappointing outside, not many options, right? Yes. Guess at half time. There was like four stalls for the outside area and yeah. the, the lines were massive because there wasn't many um, options. But here we come here and we scroll over, you still got your you got your beers, you've got your um, pork over rice, you've got, you've your, got your roast potatoes. beef, char ham, you've got your um, sasami karage, that's nice. I mean, taiyaki as well, a few different options. How am I looking? That's a banger to be Is fair. Is it a banger? One nil, one nil. We move, yeah. we move. We move, we move. We move. Get another one. Two nil! Two nil in two minutes! Well played, lads. Unbelievable scene, Jeff. Good finish on a rebound. Quarter chance is gone. Well played, son. Right, okay, so in Japanese, it's called Ponte Maru, which is basically like two short words like uh, ball and potato together. So it's basically like potato ball. Great. It's got like a cheesy taste to it. It's like deep fried. If you look at that, look at that. Deep fried cheesy balls. Yes, mate. <laughs> yes. That looks. Cheesy. It looks good. Looks good. Three hundred yen. Not that. bad. Not bad. That sub keeper's warming up. You ever seen that before? <laughs> right, settle down, mate. You're not getting on, bro. He's not even got his boots on. To be fair, he knows he's not coming on. Two one, mate. Right. Two one. Slotted that in as well, that looked all too easy, you know. Mm. Um, hopefully, it doesn't lead to any more. Still 2 1 though, with only two minutes to go. Hiroshima. Holding on, holding on. That's it, it's over, surely. Oh! 2 1. You, you never it's walk it. alone, brother. 2 1. You called it, you called the prediction. I said 2 1, didn't I? I said 2 1. Legendary. Do you know what? First half we didn't play well, but that second half we just killed it. Honestly, we, we got a bit lucky there, but we'll take we it. We'll take we'll it. Take it. We'll one. take it. Let's go. Hey. Well done, lads. Well done, lads. Lady Journey. Journey, Stadium. Um, I would give it an eight, and the reason why I would give it an eight is because it has that big match field. The reason why the square is so high is because it has that big, grand feel to it. You know, that stadium where you could host a final, something like that. So, uh, location. What are you saying? Right. Okay. Location. Um, there's not um, much going on. An area I would like to live in because it has this kind of community feel. In terms of an area for a match day, like. I was kind of looking for places to eat, I was looking for places to hang out, and there wasn't really necessarily much to offer. I'd give it a four. Location four? Location four. All right, All right. food, what are you saying? Food, um, in terms of food options around the stadium, we had, I counted about four, and I think we were on one side of the stadium, there could have been more on the other. Queuing was a the queuing was awful insane. situation. Um, yeah. I queued up for beers, I think for about 15 minutes. And Chicken was 30. Yeah, and uh, I, we missed kickoff because we were just waiting for so long. If there was more options, we wouldn't have been queuing for so long. But the chicken that we ate were, was great and inside was pretty standard. I would say a six for food. There's also the uh, post-game kebab, which is behind the parking lot. Oh, I didn't know it was a post-game kebab. That? Well, hey, that's, that's a game changer. That's, that's a game changer. That's why, that's, why, that's, why, that's why I handed it in for Jack, because yeah. there's, there's the post-game kebab well. place. Yeah. It, you look at it and it's dodgy, which is... As a Brit, that's all you want. A shit kebab is the best kebab. <laughs> yeah. The atmosphere is a... I'm debating a 9.5 or a 9. I'm going to say 9.5. It's going to be very hard to wow. beat that. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be hard to beat that. Match day 8, 
just simply because just the fans just really bring that up for me. Fans were class, yeah. man. Fans were the best that, I've that's seen. That's everything for today. For long Transition from the station to the stadium, very, very good. But there's nothing between the station and the stadium at the same time. There's like a Matia or like a... You know, a couple, a couple of different like gyudon places, but at the same time, we're not too far from Chofu, where there's bars and you know, five minutes away. So, seven foot location. Stadium's a bit up and down for me because it's a fifty thousand seater, right? It's a, it's a very nice stadium. It's a little bit dated now, but at the same time, they haven't really been able to pack it out. And that's not their fault. It's because of COVID. They've got to have a. You know, like it's about half capacity. Is that right? Half capacity? No, nah, yeah, we grab a space for, 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 t for today's game. We were uh, limited to twenty thousand. Right. Okay. If if that's full, that's probably a nine. But today, I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay. Yeah. Atmosphere today, like obviously, there's still that rule in the J League where you can't you can't cheer. Mm. Yeah. Right. But um, like the drummer, like whoever that guy is who brings his drum in, absolute legend. Right. <laughs> I don't know who he is. If you know him, respect. Give him, give him my so, best regards. So, but... so the, the, main, the main group for FC Tokyo mm. is called Tokyo 12. Right. And, and the, the Tokyo 12 group, um, they were basically sending out tweets like before the game. Like, all right, this is, this is what we're going to do for like this game today. This is the rhythm and, and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No joke. The, the atmosphere is one of the best I've seen, I think. I mean, obviously no chanting. That's no disrespect to the club or any any other club in the league because yeah. it's not allowed right now yeah but like at any moment in the game it was not silent sometimes when it's a big stadium it can feel very very empty when the fans aren't feeling it mm -hmm. but they were up there today i'm gonna give it an eight for atmosphere fantastic like, i think I'm they did really well right? I'm, I'm just gonna say thank you for that one because uh i think i think our new ownership under uh mixi uh has contributed a lot to that but the food i ate today was good but at the same time um, it was very difficult to actually get any food. They had like a, a beer company that did like FC Tokyo beer, that's cool. But if you can't get it, if it sells out, like what's the point, right? So food for me, probably a five. My six moves for me has probably been a nine, I reckon. I really enjoyed kind of the atmosphere within the stadium, which added to all of that. Like a win as well. Like we've done, what, eight games, nine games. I think it's the first time we've ever seen a win. Like normally, <laughs> Like the Dread League Journey's curse yeah. has been either a draw or a loss yes, every time. So it's nice to see a win yes. for once. And then also like the fans around us, like... Um, and we Brett, stole it as well, didn't Brett. we? We stole it. Nile over here as well, No. Hi, I've been staying off the camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's but like, we've been able to meet a couple of fans today. Nile, yes. like you're a big FC Tokyo fan. Great to have a little beer with him as well. Um, my match day experience has been increased by the fact that we've been able to meet people that we can like chill with and have a beer with. Now introduce like J League journeys, have a little word. Uh, <laughs> I think that's part of the charm of the J League itself. Um, obviously, the guys that run this channel and me, we're from the UK, and going to other stadiums can be a polarizing experience. You can feel that sometimes you're not welcome, at least in the J1. <laughs> Like you mm. never hear of any animosity or fans taking off with each other. It's generally a really welcoming place. It's like this is our club. Look at what it can do. What a legend! Dude. Okay, a legend has arrived. Oh, I, have to, I, have to, I have to wear the mask though. Thank you. Respect. No, oh. cheers, cheers, cheers. Cameraman cheers. as well. There you are. Thank you very much. Campai the camera. Campai, campai. Wait. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thank wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. No, likewise, likewise, likewise. likewise. Love yes. you guys. Wait. Guys. FC Tokyo. FC Cheers. Tokyo. Is there a nickname? That's what I've been wondering this whole time. Uh, I'm like, you know, you've got like up the gunners, this and the that. What's the, what's the, what's the yeah. nickname? The gas men. Yeah, so we're, 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 the gas yeah, men. Yeah, the gas men. Gonna fix your boiler, mate. Do you know what?